Hey guys, you're watching Boondockin' with Dennis. Downtown Corpus Christi just uh, pulled on the Mesquite Street. It's a Sunday afternoon, around 4.15. Thought we'd go for a drive, see what's going on down here. Two-way traffic, which is good. Got lots of murals. Have we looked at these before, guys? Let's uh, check them out. Preserved by the Ritz. Positive action towards cultural heritage. Uptown, Selena Statue, Whataburger Field, USS Lexington. Everyone's got music playing. That's why I had my windows closed. That and the fact that the heat index is 103 right now. Pretty cool. There's the goldfish over there. That's a bar. Or whatever they're calling bars today. Are they still bars? The cafes. This place was the bus stop. Is it still the bus stop? I don't know. Bus. Oh, it's bus. I'm sorry. Bus. You said it was a bus stop, you idiot. Yeah, I did. I did. You got some pretty uh, pretty storefronts down here. It's Green Light Sunday. <laughs> It's all good, folks. If you don't believe me, it says so right there. All good. Not a whole lot happening today. Roxanne. We're right in front of the police station. You don't have to put on the red light. Your days are over. Oh, where was I? Okay. You're welcome, ladies. No need to wave thank you. It was my pleasure. <laughs> are we on Mesquite Street, kids? I feel like we're on Mesquite Street, but... No, we're on Chaparral. You know how I knew? I didn't see Mesquite Street Pizza. There's the Texas Surf Museum. We've been in there a few times. We always go in from the back, though. Guess we'll have to work our way over to Mesquite. Here's a one-way street. Let's try it. I don't know if uh, Mesquite is uh, one way part of the way. We'll find out. I guess I could have made a right on red. Find out once we get up here. Might have to go the back way and then come down Mesquite. Man, it's too hot to eat outside. I don't know how these people do it. It's a one-way street. So we'll go to the back here. This area's got a lot of potential. I would really like to see it make a full comeback. Uh, it's not real bad. We've been to cities in worse shape than this, but they've done a lot down here. They're still working on it. Good for them. There's a lot of good restaurants here downtown. A lot of good uh, bars, good food. It's right by the marina. See the Harbor Bridge? straight ahead I believe they said on the news they're going to start taking the lights down tomorrow on a Monday there's a little fountain there pretty sweet so 
right now I'm just killing time and hopefully I will film the harbor lights tonight the harbor uh, bridge lights tonight and from what they said on the news that's going to be the, uh, the last time they're lit up tonight but the way they worded it we weren't sure if it was going to be tonight or Monday would be the last night they lit up they should put a street in here what do you think so I thought I would uh, get down here today and make sure I got the uh, lights tonight if they light up if there's lights tonight I'm gonna get it and then drive the 40 miles back to Rockport I don't know exactly how far it is from here 34 maybe and I gotta turn up the air a little bit guys because it's, it's getting toasty in here now I feel like we're on mesquite yep we're gonna go we're gonna cruise right through that one so that's the goldfish again okay yeah this is better there's the house of rock on the right that's a good music venue and they have good food there they have one a small room with a bar they got good, you know, pizza, wings, things like that. And then a little bit larger room for uh, for uh, rock music. So, we'll see what's going on. This guy's giving hand signals to his wife to park there. There's the Bay Jewel. Every time I drive these roads, I feel like I want to go get my suspension checked. <laughs> I guess it cuts down on people uh, speeding through here. They have a lot of neat things like that. I don't know what that is, what its purpose is, but it does look cool. And you can see it's a pretty nice day, man. We got some blue skies. Hey, man. Yeah, man. We got some blue skies, man. <laughs> I didn't uh, look up any jokes before I started this. So you're just going to have to tolerate my wittisms. And we drove right by Mesquite Street Pizza and I didn't even get it. So let's go. Uh, there's Crawl Daddies. Crawl Daddies. Get some grub at Crawl Daddies. We'll go down one more street and make a left and go up Walder Street. There's the building. There's the World War Memorial right there. Right lane closed ahead. Well, we'll make a left here. Mamma Mia, which I think closed a while ago. Yeah, okay. So is this a one-way street here, kids? No, it's got signage, so... There you go. He's going that way, so we're going to go that way. City of Corpus Christi Police Department. Hmm. Any of you guys got warrants? You know what? We already, we're not turning here, guys, because we already went down here. That's Chaparral. We want to go up here to Water Street. And now it's a one-way street. It's not too confusing, is it? I'm talking about the street we're on. There's the two-story Whataburger. We've seen that in a few videos. It's got an elevator up to the second floor. And you could eat inside or outside, depending on what your opinion of uh, eating with seagull poop is. It's up to you. This is America. You get your choice. <laughs> There's some good grub right there. 
that Mexican place whose name eludes me. Executive Surf Club. I've gotten some good burgers there. There's the back entrance to the uh, surf museum. And uh, this is one of the better restaurants in town, the Oyster Bar. Meet me at Water Street, it says. Huh. Okay. And then the next street, uh, we've cruised that uh, a couple weeks ago. Right along the water where the Selena statue is and all that. There's the sushi restaurant. It's supposed to be really good. I don't think I've actually eaten there, but I've heard really good things about it. We'll have to cruise uh, uptown next time I'm over here. Thigh, uh, thigh spices. Thigh. Thigh spice. Thigh spice would be completely different. Cassidy's Irish Pub. I used to drive a guy to work there, and I forget his name, but he was a good guy. And it's been a year and a half since I've done Uber and Lyft. Well, mission accomplished, guys. We made a video and didn't run into anything. Here's the marina straight ahead. Thanks for riding along, guys. I appreciate you. Maybe next time we'll get ice cream. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.